while Trump is leading in the polls, Iowa is five months away, and so is Trump. Trump is like five light years away from Iowa. Of all the candidates, Trump's spending the least amount of time in Iowa because he's distracted by his legal problems. Picture this. If Trump loses Iowa, he still has a chance in New Hampshire. But then he's got to go down to South Carolina, and that's where he can really start looking vulnerable if he doesn't have the evangelicals behind him. So what happens if Trump loses an early primary or Iowa? It's not inconceivable. Will he claim election fraud? Now, when he lost Iowa in 2016, that was the very first thing he said. Trump lost to Ted Cruz in Iowa in 2016. The first thing out of his mouth was election fraud. So is Trump right now capable of accepting defeat in, say, South Carolina or anywhere else without claiming election fraud? It would be suicidal for him to attack election officials in a Republican primary. But he's gotten sicker. I mean, he's disturbed. He's always been disturbed. He doesn't look well. He's making mistakes. And try to imagine him gracefully accepting a defeat in a primary without attacking the party whose nomination he's seeking. Try to imagine Donald Trump accusing his own party of doing to him what he accused Biden and the Democrats of doing to him. How would that play with the GOP? Do they finally come to their senses? The answer is no. I don't think they do. They cower in the corner and do what they're told because Trump is a mobster and they fear for their physical safety. They know he is physically dangerous, but he still can't force them to vote for him. So I think it's going to be an interesting Republican primary season. You're going to see a lot of people giving full throated endorsements to Trump while secretly voting for somebody else. And that's why the polls are not accurate, because Republicans who talk to pollsters are convinced they're part of the deep, dark state, that their phone is being tapped. I suspect a lot of the people who say they're voting for Trump are terrified that somebody is writing down who's with Trump and who's against him. But we still have a secret ballot. I suspect that these Republican primaries are going to be a lot more interesting. I suspect. I've been wrong. I said that Chris Christie would be leading in the polls by now. And I was gravely wrong on that. But I suspect Trump, I think the polls are telling us a different story because I think a lot of Republicans figure this is the deep, dark state trying to figure out if I'm with Trump or against him. So perhaps there's some kind of filtration system in the Republican Party that will keep Trump from either getting the Republican nomination, or if he does get it, uh, he'll be so deeply wounded by the political process, he will limp into the general election and go down hard. I don't think he's got his mental faculties anymore. I think he's beginning to lose his grip. He's misspeaking more and more. And I'm talking about the wear and tear that the political process has played on his brain. Don't forget, he's got four criminal trials next year. And that takes up a lot of room in an old man's head. He's running for president. He's trying to outmaneuver these candidates while at the same time he's got to be hands on with four sets of criminal lawyers. That's a level of multitasking that requires superhuman strength. And while Trump is indefatigable, he's also lazy. He's intellectually lazy, physically lazy, and he relies mostly on his gut, and his gut seems to be failing him lately. It served him well in the past. This time, It's a lot different. His gut is not advising him properly. He is in his late 70s. No man in his late 70s can 
can endure what he's being put through. We all know these type of men, right? They're bulls. They are bulls. But they drop hard. One minute, they're bench pressing the entire world. And the next day, they're wrapped in a blanket, staring out at the ocean, covered in drool. We can only pray, can't we?